Hello, here's a quick tutorial on how to paint daffodils. There's a complete supply list in the comments. I will also include a how to draw, quick little sketch for you, and also a sketch of the complete drawing. So to begin, uh, I am laying in some yellow ochre around the cup of the, each daffodil and then begin laying in the colors of the paddle of the petals excuse me so I'm using a mixture of the yellow ochre a uh, cadmium yellow deep and mixing those two together you'll see where to add the shading which is around sort of the little folds in the petals around the base around the cup and then working out from that uh, adding some titanium white into the mixture also to sort of brighten and lighten pretty much where the sun would hit these petals they'd be the brightest um, so where there's a petal that's underneath another petal you'd use the yellow ochre to add some shading where the petal goes over the top of other petals there'll, there'll be a lot more of the titanium white and you can see that here where I just did that sort of um, to give the you know dimension to your tulips um, and I'm also using a little bit of burnt umber mixed with the yellow ochre it makes a really nice shadow and now I'm adding a little bit of the medium olive green to the leaves um, and you can just sort of add that in where the folds would be and around the base now I've added got a mixture of vermilion with the um, cadmium yellow deep and some some of the titanium white to sort of add dimension around the um, the rim of the cup um, you'll see I've you know it's a little bit deeper so working on the top of the cup um, back to the same colors that you used for the petals the yellow ochre the cadmium yellow deep and then towards the tip where it would be a little bit lighter mixed with the titanium white um, now these are the little buds and towards the base I'm using a lot of the hookers green and now I'm working on the stems and this is a mixture of uh, a cyan excuse me a cyan blue mixed with hookers green um, it gives it a little bit more of like a blue green and I'm using this for the stems and the leaves and just sort of working that in it's a nice bright even though even though it's a deeper color than I usually use for leaves that blue really adds a lot to the the green makes it really fresh and springy and I also use the blue to shade so where the stems are underneath the petals um, underneath the flower heads underneath another leaf I will shade with that blue so here I'm adding more shading um, and then the lighter shades in the leaves are the medium olive green and then using I'll use even a little bit of the cadmium yellow deep um, this whole painting consists of just a few colors so with a few colors tubes of paint and they're all Liquitex colors you can really do a lot of different effects with your paintings you don't need a whole lot of paints to paint with um, and so I'm just continuing that mix with the greens and lightening the colors, the stems and the leaves that are in front of the other leaves. They're going to be brighter, a lot more yellow um, and titanium white mixed in with the uh, medium olive green to really sort of make those pop. Now here you can see I'm painting around the cup, uh, this, the frontal view of that cup. The inset is a mixture of the vermilion with the yellow ochre now I'm highlighting and the buds themselves the leaf space that goes around the buds here I'm adding the background which is that beautiful green gray color which I love against all of these botanical paintings um, back to the buds the leaf space around the buds was a mixture of the um, uh, burnt umber, a little tiny bit of yellow ochre, and some um, titanium white. So those are sort of really papery and thin and transparent normally, the leaf space that goes around the buds. So I'm just blocking in that background. 
with the green gray. And feel free to print out my drawing that I included um, in the um, pictures that were added to this video. If you're not comfortable drawing out your own design, feel free to copy that um, and then continue. It's basically just like coloring with paint once you transfer that to your canvas um, and just work forward from that. You're more than welcome to print that out and trace over my drawing. But I do recommend if you would like to learn to, to paint botanicals um, or really anything and you want to have somewhat of a realistic semblance to them, I do recommend that you take just some basic drawing classes. And I know there's great, great basic drawing classes on YouTube. So you should be able to find something that uh, you can follow along that will show you how to, bait, how to draw pretty realistically, really pretty simply. So here I'm just adding in more of that medium olive green into the leaves on the tops um, and where the sunlight would hit and just continuing to add those colors. Um, again, darker colors are going to push something back into the background and so you want to use that where a leaf is underneath something other. Um, under another leaf or under a bud it would definitely be darker under there and where another leaf or a stem is over the top of a leaf or a stem you would make that brighter so it would push that into the foreground so darker colors push things into the background lighter colors bring things forward so it gives that eye gives your eye that illusion of depth in your paintings so I hope you give this a try. Now what I'm doing is a lot of uh, titanium white um, and you, I'm painting this vertically because daffodil leaves uh, have like vertical, um, I guess like striations or stripes in the leaves. So that will give sort of a little bit more of a realistic look to these leaves. And like I said, I'm painting them vertically. So I'm starting towards the top and dragging down towards the bottom of your painting. Um, but I hope you give this a try. It was a lot of fun. I've got my daffodils blooming in the yard. They just started opening up yesterday. So I hope you give this a try and hope you have a great spring. Again, if you have any comments or questions, please drop them in the comment section below. Thank you so much.